Hey, it's Tax Quips Time from TaxMama.com. Today, Tax Mama hears from Alice in the Tax Quips Forum, who tells us, An artist lent his artwork for display on the premises. The art piece was lost or destroyed, and the artist was paid as a result. Did that require a 1099 form to be issued? Well, Chris Hicks, the tax lady, replies to Alice, Chris says that if the place that displayed the work paid him directly, then yes, the 1099 miscellaneous must be issued. It's no different than going into a retail shop, breaking items, and having to pay for the same. The inventory is gone. The payment was rendered income to the retail establishment. Lesson learned by a mother with child. Well, that's been known to happen. Chris suggests the store might be able to get a reimbursement if they contact their insurance company. And that's an excellent idea. Let me add, essentially in situations like this, the artist does have a sale. The store has bought the work of art even if they don't get to enjoy the benefits. The real question here is, is it a sale of a service or a sale of a tangible asset, a thing? Well, if the work of art is a tangible asset, which it is, then there's no need for 1099 miscellaneous to be issued, at least not this year. In 2012, we'll be required to issue 1099s for everything under the sun. At present, however, we're only required to issue 1099s for rents and services. So now that I think about it, I don't think it's necessary to issue a 1099. If you want to be safe, issue it, put the payment in the other box, and remember, you can find answers to all kinds of questions about paying artists and other tax issues free. Where? Where else? At taxmama.com.